Hello YouTube, welcome to part 6. That's how we made our hinges. All I have pictures of a little piece of metal and the measurements. I started out with a notch there, just a straight notch, then I tapered it. How good that'll show up. So it doesn't hit this when it opens. But I built it with the notch in it, then I took the bolts out. It wouldn't open until I took the bolts out, and then I fine tune that. I welded it underneath so it makes it look better on the top. The same with these. This I used a piece of cardboard for a template when I made this piece and I kept trimming it till it fit then I marked it onto the metal. Sorry about the camera not focusing with the light. Here we'll get over like this. The bolts may be spot welded or something. I don't have any Loctite, so they don't come loose, so they stay in one spot. And I built this so the weight would be on top of here. It's the same exact hinge. Not putting this piece of metal under here. I want it on top. I wanted the weight. I just wanted to look the same on both of them. Welds are kind of nasty underneath, but you won't see it unless you look down under it. So it'll look good when it's got some paint sprayed all over it. So Off to making the door latch. And this should be the final part of this till I get ready to cook something in it or do a test burn. Okay, we did the same thing right there so the door will open. It'll open all the way. You may be able to burn this stove with the door open. But did the same idea there. Rounded that all off. But when I built it, I had just an eighth of an inch gap here, about a quarter inch, whatever it was. And when I built these hinges, I had weight on this to squish down that gasket. So I knew it would puff back up, because it will puff back up after you squish it. So I know when this closes, it's going to be sealed. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I just may spray it and leave it. If I'm afraid if I try to weld this and put a bead in there, it's going to look nasty. And the only way to get in there is with a rotary tool to make that look better. We may make a quick pass in there. It's just a wood stove. But that's how I made these hinges. These were three inches long. This is two inches to start with, one inch wide metal. And this stuff is three sixteenths inch thick. It's not a quarter inch thick. It's the same thickness as the door. So, once again, on with the latch. We haven't figured it out yet, but it will be on this video. Okay, here's our door latch. And just has a spot where the angle iron sticks out. We just formed this, bent it into vice when it was cold. This is a little piece of angle iron. Uh, one inch angle iron, this is about a half inch wide. And that just goes behind there. That's a carriage bolt. And when we drilled the hole for the carriage bolt, we drilled the hole for the thread size. Then measure that square part and drill about halfway through your metal and you can pull it in with a wrench or tap it in and that will grab. The shoulder will grab like it will in wood. But there it is. That's the end of this part. We're done. We may make a grate for it. A couple other little things but we'll show that when we have a burn video. The bolts we're going to cut off and we're going to spot wall them. I think we'll spot wall them so they won't come loose. We'll get them just as tight as we want. We'll cut them off, then we'll spot weld it so they stay in there. If you ever had to get them out, you can just cut them out with a grinder. So, wouldn't be no baggy. But, that's it. Thanks for watching this episode.